Hi dear cricket fans, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings and we are looking at the 4 days play in the first MCC Spirit of Cricket test which was played at the neutral ground that is in Lords between Australia and Pakistan and as you know Pakistan were uh, set a target of 440, 326 to get as I said it was a mountain to climb well it proved to be a mountain to climb but uh, Pakistan just uh, some resistance coming from Salman but who actually contributed 92 uh, and some 42 from Azhar Ali, the debutants uh, tried their best actually uh, did their best. Umar Amin made 33, uh, Umar Akmal contributed a quick 22 and Kamran Akmal uh, in the end uh, just uh, kept the Australian attack at bay with 46. Other than that it was not much, 289 they were all out and they lost this match by 150 runs. So in the afternoon the match was all over and the hero was Marcus Nadu who went into the honours board today uh, being the best, the, the best bowling done by an Australian spinner at Lord's. In fact, uh, he got 18.1 8 overs, one made in 55 runs and six wickets, and it was all over. Just one important note, dear cricket fans: Shai the Freedy has said that he has played his, uh, he has not played his last test. His, the second test that will be played at Headingley will be his last test. So he says he won't be playing any more test cricket uh, because he feels that his temperament is not suited for test cricket. Because by the way he uh, batted today, the way he didn't uh, think the occupation of the crease was paramount. And he tried to slog uh, Marcus North and he slogged him into the sky and Hussey took the catch. It was a slog sweep shot which was a slog sweep shot is normally played in one day years. But well, Afridi being the captain could have been much more mature. Uh, but now Shahid Afridi has decided that uh, he won't be playing uh, test cricket. Um, so that's what he has said. And he has said that in test cricket Salman Butt uh, should, be, uh, his, uh, should be the likely choice. That is for the Pakistani selectors to decide. So, well, dear cricket fans, now going on to the report, today it was Salman Bhatt and Azhar Ali who actually started off proceedings. Uh, they started off resuming at their uh, overnight score uh, and, uh, well, they took on the score to 186 with Salman Bhatt starting the day in a beautiful fashion, playing some beautiful strokes. In fact, uh, Mitchell Johnson was uh, cut and driven with a lot of uh, timing and precision by Salman Bhatt who actually contributed 92 of 173 balls of 15 fours. And then uh, the debutants, uh, Azhar Ali uh, contributed 42. Uh, he was playing with uh, lots of confidence actually. And uh, he, he played his strokes uh, in the way he, he could actually. And uh, he played some very good strokes. Uh, in fact, uh, Hilfen House was act actually having him edging, but uh, still he played well. And then uh, the first wicket to go was uh, Salman Bhatt today. Now, that was the time which, no, Azhar Ali was the first to go today. Uh, Azhar Ali was, um, Actually, Hilfen House had really set him up actually and then he actually had him uh, caught behind by Tim Payne um, for 42 of 87 balls with 4-4. So, Azhar Ali after playing a very good knock was out for 42. Umar Amin uh, also was there. Salman Butt was there who was actually holding the fort and he was doing a very good job in fact. He uh, actually had 92 runs to his name of 173 balls with 15 fours and that was the time uh, Salman Butt Marcus North was introduced. This was some very good captaincy by Ricky Ponting who actually brought the right arm off spinner Marcus North into the equation and Marcus North immediately struck actually Salman but the first ball he received from North he tried to actually tickle him down to the leg side. The ball is down the leg side. A beautiful stumping by um, uh, Tim Payne uh, c considering so the t Tim Payne actually uh, had a very good stumping actually of the leg side and he actually stumped as uh, Salman but so he was gone for 92 and they were 3 for 186. After that uh, Umar Amin uh, was the next to go. North really ra ran out of the Umar Amin uh, came in. Umar Amin was also gone. Caught Katic in the close of the bowling of North for 33 of 55 balls with 4 fours. I thought the debutants did well and then uh, Umar Akmal came in. Umar Akmal was in a man in a hurry. There was no occupation of the crease. He went and smote uh, Marcus North for a 4 and a 6. And whenever um, uh, Umran Akmal plays, he really, really thumps the ball very hard. And Umar Akmal was also gone just before lunch, the last ball before lunch. He actually top edged the ball from North onto. They tried to cut, fierce cut, and Clark took the catch in the slips, and he was gone for 22. And at that time, the score was um, 227 for five. In fact, uh, 227 for five. And Umar uh, Amin departed. After that, uh, there was some resistance from Kamran Akmal. Kamran Akmal, no, Shahid Afridi came in, and Shahid Afridi immediately tried to hit North, he tried to slog sweep North into the sky the ball went and Afridi was gone for two. After that was a partnership of 54 in 19 overs with Kamran Akmal uh, along with uh, Mohamed Ahmad the youngster and both of them took on the score uh, to 283 
Uh, at that time, Kamran Akmal was taken by Stephen Smith, actually turning the ball, got through Kamran Akmal's defences. After Kamran Akmal played a very good innings of 46 of 82 balls with 6 fours and 1 six. Mohamed Amr, after that, was all gone. Four wickets were gone very quickly once Kamran Akmal went. Mohamed Amr was gone. Caught Hussey, bowled north for 19 of 48 balls with 1 four. Umar Gul was uh, caught by pointing on the bowling of Smith. Danish Kaneria was caught pointing bold north for two. Mohamed K. Mohamed Asif was not out on one. 289 all out. 150 run victory for Australia. And Australia had their 13th consecutive victory over Pakistan uh, in their uh, matches. And as far as uh, Dougie Bollinger, 12 overs, 4 maidens, 143. Ilfana, 16 overs, 8 maidens, 1 for 37. Mitchell Johnson, 18 overs, 5 maidens, none for 74. Steven Smith, 21 overs, 5 maidens, 3 for 51 on his debut. Shane Watson, 6 overs, no maidens, none for 26. But Marcus North was the man who really, really made the difference on the fourth day. 18.1 overs, 1 maiden, 55 runs and 6 wickets. And the player of the match uh, went to a joint uh, man of the match, Simon Carriage of Australia and Salman Bhatt of Pakistan. But uh, I thought so. Pakistan actually... A lost this test match uh, by 150 runs. Australia lead the two-match series 2-0 with the second test uh, between Australia and Pakistan to be played at Headingley Leeds on July 21-25. to 25. And your cricket fans, as I said, Shai the Freedy will be playing his last test match. He says he's not going to play any more test matches now because he feels his temperament is not suited to it. And, well, in his post-match speech, he said that uh, he would like Salman Butt to take on the reins. Uh, but, well, I also feel that Salman Butt should be the right candidate for Pakistan considering... Uh, the team that they have right now with a lot of youngsters into the team. I thought Salman but uh, has played very well. In fact, he has um, uh, done very well in this uh, test match. Uh, he just did not get any support. As I said, Shoaib Malik was really, really missing in this. Because if Shoaib Malik had actually partnered uh, Salman but maybe they could have... Because there was, if you see, there was no occupation of the crease. People, all, uh, all the batsmen actually went for their strokes. If you have 326 to chase, um, I would rather say that the occupation of the crease is paramount, but they, they, they never did that. They just went for the strokes, unfortunately. Now that's it. So Pakistan has lost this uh, first test, first MCC spirit of cricket test by uh, 150 runs. This is Ram signing off. Thank you.